On the Road with Slinger is designed to really come into inner city uh, towns across our country that are depressed to be able to bring hope to those people that are in need of being able to have people that can inspire them to come to a next level to be able to want to come to the school and learn music and to be inspired to be able to take that talent that they learn from us giving them the opportunity to be with the best teachers in the world let me just say that they're the best and helping inner city kids along the way with performances that bring the towns together communities together uh, the infrastructure, you know what I mean? Town halls, you know what I mean? Being able to create a platform to help individuals that don't have opportunity. That's who Slinger is. That's what Slinger, that's what On the Road with Slinger is. Okay, and showing the legendary musicians that you'll be meeting through this, this show that are gonna give you the opportunity to see the compassion within them that will inspire you to wanna take it to another level. Some of these stories that, you know, or that we'll be telling or you know, they're a riot, they're funny, and they'll make you cry laughing. And some of these stories are horrific tales of drug abuse, heroin addiction, you know, the, the hell of losing iconic level musicians from drug abuse, you know, which we've lost many, alcohol, drug abuse. The whole, you know, On the Road with Slinger depicts the good side of what it is and the bad side of what it is. You know, the yin and the yang, the good, bad, and the ugly side of all of it. You know, and some of these stories are horrific. You know, the addiction, the death that follows, all of the great artists that we've lost just in the last five years are, is staggering to the brain to think that these individuals have the world in the palm of their hand and they just blast their brains out because of the addictive powers of drugs that take your life over. I've went through it. I was born a heroin addict, child. Uh, I started life off with a needle in my vein. Um, not so to speak, but in my mother's womb, I was supplied with nine months of heroin addiction through my umbilical cord and I came out a heroin addict and I lived it. And I am here today to tell you that um, the journey that I have been on is, you know, one that I wouldn't want, want to wish on any of my worst enemies in life. And so my compassion to help my brothers that have this inflicting pain and that a lot of my rock star icons, friends help every day or trying to make a change and get in the way of this nightmare that we're experiencing in our country and in the, around the world with opioid addiction. We feel that we have an opportunity to share with the world the ability for us to unite as people to really understand that this is a lot more than just an addiction. This is, uh, we were born with hunger from the minute we were born, we were hungry. We needed to have nourishment. Sure. And it's very important for me as Slinger to tell the world, that on the road with Slinger, to tell the world that there is hope. There is another way out. If I can do it, if I was able to come out of that, to become an opportunity for you to see that there is a side to this that we're going to bring compassion to, a level of compassion, and we'll be able to inspire others to be able to join us and to take this to the streets and to help as much as possible. We can't, I know we can't save the world, but we can certainly put a little dent in it and change the world, you know? We're, on the road with Slinger, we'll go into towns and these towns that we go in and we'll really show the dark side of what addiction really is in the streets and what the police have to deal with every day through this disease and what the court systems are dealing with and what doctors are dealing with and rehab are dealing with and why the success rate is so low with so much information at our disposal today. We have a difficult time with this subject, okay? Helping people that have addictions. My mother was burned in a fire for heroin addiction okay I've seen it firsthand I know what this is I've lived with it it's been in my veins my whole life you know I can tell you one thing that this show will go into the inner cities and we'll go deep down and we'll show you the real reality behind this drug and what it's doing to families across this world that we live in and we're gonna bring attention to this so we can help the inner city children understand what this is and to avoid it at all costs.
If we can do that, we've started the process of the healing process. If we can do that much and bring it to, 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 to the school districts and the schools on a, on a, you know, a worldwide level, we start here in America and we do this program here in America and we'll show the rest of the world how this can work and, and, and we can do this as Americans and you know we can. In times of crisis, we know how to come together. Are you drinking tequila? No, actually it's Don Julio water.